It's great to see you both. You both look amazing. I love the hair, I love the earrings. Um, it's been a pretty big year for women's basketball, and I guess specifically in the WNBL. Do you think you could pick like one standout moment like from a game? or? Um, I think just how competitive the season's been, even leading out to this into this round, like we didn't know who was going to make the uh, final. So I think it's been a, re a really competitive atmosphere. Yeah, I think definitely this week in all the games, and as Ray said, you know, everything being so close has been a testament to the overall competitiveness of the season. So yeah, it's been good overall. And are you enjoying being back in the WNBL, Brianna, after you know lockdown and everything? Are there any like major changes you've seen since you were last year? Uh, I was really excited to be back here playing for Adelaide. Um, hasn't really been any major changes, still a great place. Yeah. And you're at a new club this year as well, Justin, not moving from the Flames last year. Is there anything particular you've loved about playing with this group of girls? Um, I mean, it was just a new opportunity. I think definitely a different system, but just seeing how the different teams overall have changed, it's been a new experience and it's been fun, competitive. And you're both at new WNBA clubs as well this year, am I right as well? And I guess just after seeing everything just happening in the US at the moment, Caitlin Clark breaking records, like how exciting is it just to be over that, just to be able to get um, over there again? I mean, I think women's basketball is just in everyone's eyes right now. It's getting so much more popular than it was five, ten years ago. So I think it's really awesome to see people talking about uh, players of all, the, of all ages. Yeah, agreed. I mean, there's always so much movement each year in the W, and um, we'll see how the teams do this year, but it should be exciting as it has been in previous years. And I know that um, just then there was the Townsville Flames game, and your position on the ladder couldn't really choose, um, couldn't really change, but was it kind of fun just watching, like, chaos happen and teams just getting knocked out of fun? Yeah, I mean, to have the season really boil down to the very last game, um, it's super exciting. That's just a testament to how the WNBL has been all season long, so it was really excited to watch. Um, I'm just glad that it didn't have to, it had anything to do in changing where we were. Because, yeah, I mean, you walked off in your last game not even knowing if you made the finals or yeah. not, but you must just be feeling so great and really just pumped going into finals. Yes, um, I guess I have to give a shout out to Perth um, because they did exactly what they needed to do um, to you know make sure that we're not in a, a nail biter later in the day or, or today. And I wanted to ask just on a bit of a different note you were kind of brought in like right at the start of the season and um, before it started and you ended up being really important did you ever think that you would I guess like hold such an important role in the team? Um, no you know I just I always walk onto a team and say that I want to be able to do whatever it takes to make sure that we win and I feel like I'm really hitting my stride at the moment. And last I've heard that you're a pretty good singer and then you're gonna karaoke is this all? I'm, I'm not a good singer, but I do love karaoke. Okay, <laughs> I think I have to start off with the game just then. How was it watching it in the hotel, like not knowing if you were going to get in or not? I didn't watch. Oh, really? So I just needed someone to tell me when it finished and what the deal was. I guess it's been a bit of an up and down um, year for the Lynx. You know, you guys were doing really well at the beginning and then you kind of, I guess, had a few games that you didn't win. But like, how does it feel just knowing that you're definitely locked in the finals? Like, are you feeling good? Is the team feeling yeah, good? Yeah, I'm just so proud of us. I'm so proud of our group. Even when we were losing, we stayed together. It's such an incredible group of women. I've never been in a team where we've supported each other so much, even when we lose. We genuinely celebrate each other and we're so happy for each other. And win or loss, like, I'm so proud of this group. I really am. Just like, I'd be mean, really just proud of how you've been able to just like push through with injuries as well, you know, having Ari up for quite a while. Did that like change things? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as players coming in and out with injury, um, it's always hard to adapt, but God, I'm just so proud of how hard we work and how, how well we support each other, like in and out of everything. Yeah. And Annalie, I guess it's been a pretty big year for women's basketball, especially in the US, but in Australia. Um, is there anything you think that the WNBL needs to do to just keep, you know, WNBL imports coming out and just keep the competition going? Um, I think that Christy has done an amazing job. Um, the, from when I started playing in the league to where we are now, like I played six seasons. So we've, um, I'm really proud of the way that it's gone and just onwards and upwards, yeah. To start off with, were you watching the game just then in the hotel? I heard that Annalie wasn't, but that must have been pretty nerve-wracking. Not knowing if you were going to get in the finals or not. I was watching the game. Um, I wasn't nervous or anything. Um, just we did all we could do, you know. Uh, I was pretty confident, but I mean, I'm happy in the end. We're in finals. That's true. I guess it's been a pretty um, intense finish to the season, but that's good. You're all pretty content. Um, it's been a pretty big year for women's basketball, especially in the WNBL. Do you think you could possibly pick a highlight? Oh wow. A highlight for me this season, I would have to say seeing Amy score a career high of 36. I mean, that was very impressive, and she did it with somebody down. So, I mean, that's big of her. And I wanted to ask about just your personal game, actually, you know, just being out for, like, a lot of the season. How are you feeling just coming back, heading into finals now? How are you feeling? I feel great. My body feels great. I'm in a great headspace mentally, and so I'm hoping we can come out victorious in advance. 
And you've been trading in the WNBA from Atlanta to LA, which is super exciting. What was it like finding out, like just in the middle of the night? Or <laughs> I got the call at 10 p.m. Um, the first thing I said, I got traded, and my agent confirmed. But it was a lot of happiness. I'm going back home, and I'm excited to be in a system that fits me. You've done like a swap with Jordan Canada as well. I've noticed. Yeah, we did. Uh, pretty interesting and pretty kind of similar styles of play, so it'll be interesting to play against her again. Hey, Jay. How are you? I love this pink suit by you. Thank you. Wow. Boss lady like, vibes. Boss lady. <laughs> I feel like opposite. Because you and the capsule are like in black and I'm just... Yeah, you've got pink. I love it. So good. I feel left out, but it's all right. Huh? I feel. I was like, I feel left out, yeah, but that's no, fine. That's right. You guys I look. I mean, pink. You gotta pop it. So good. I mean, you all look super cool matching though. Yeah, I think everyone was kind of talking about their outfits for so long, so it's good to see everyone. Sports chic's cool because everyone can kind of bring their own flavor and taste. So yeah, looking forward to a good night. Cool, just getting you know everyone in the same room after such a big season. Do you think you could pick a highlight for the season? I could pick a highlight. For me, it would be our first win. Um, we went out to Tuggeranong, uh, reconnected with Canberra basketball history, played in a smaller stadium. Um, and bonded together and finally got that first win. So that would definitely be my highlight. Felt like a bit of a championship. Um, yeah, can't go past that one. And I know you're not, you're not obviously in finals, but you are nominated for a couple of awards tonight, which must be super exciting. I mean, it must just be, are you proud of your season? Or, you know, just... Yeah, I think I'm proud of my season. Um, yeah, obviously I would much rather uh, be playing in the finals next week uh, rather than winning awards. Um, but yeah, you know, it's an honour to be recognised among some of the league's best. Um, and yeah, whatever happens tonight happens. Certainly not something I play for, but the recognition is always nice. I mean, Jade, it must be super cool watching chaos unfold, seeing who gets in the finals and, you know, almost being able to decide. Yeah, and I think it speaks volume to the league. Um, you know, six teams are still in contention for finals in the last round. You haven't seen that in so long. So super exciting for the league. I think it's only getting better and better. Um, and yeah, looking forward and give give all my best wishes um, to the teams that are playing in finals next week. I've got to ask about the honour of being nominated for one of the awards alongside LJ. Like, did you ever think you'd be nominated alongside a six foot six like legend? Absolutely not. Whenever your name gets nom uh, mentioned in the same se uh, sentence as Lauren Jackson, you're like, wow. So, yeah, to be recognised um, amongst the fan MVP is pretty special, and for Lauren Jackson too. I think she's going to win it. She's my fan favourite. So, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. But LJ's the best. It's been a pretty big season. It must just be really nice to you know get to come together as a league and just celebrate tonight. Yeah, it's really nice um, to see everyone and, um, you know, obviously celebrate the season and get ready for finals. And, um, Mon, you're nominated for, I think, what, like four awards tonight? You won the Best in France in the AFLW, AFLW Players Association before, and you've also won the Betty Wilson Award, and now you're nominated for Breakout tonight. Are you going to let anyone else have a go? Um, it's it's no. really <laughs> Thank you for that. Too talented. No, it's really good to be nominated. There's some great nominees across the whole league, and I think it's great that it's they're being represented across every team. So it'll be a fun night. I've got to ask. You guys came off the court um, in your last game, not knowing if you were even going to make um, the finals. I think, like, how good is it? Just you know, being said, you guys looking good going to the finals. Yeah, it's good. Obviously, um, you know, I think with this team that we have, we we always hoping to make finals and I think we're going to make a really good run there so we just had to get there and obviously some results went our way so we're really happy with that. And I guess considering yeah a few injuries and also just to break on for the Opals you must be just really proud of the girls that they've been able to just stick together and get through. Yeah exactly we've, have a, we've had a lot of ups and downs throughout the whole season so it's good to sort of achieve this together and get into finals and now we've got another goal we have to work towards. Um, and I've just got one more for you Mon. You started the um, last last so you started um, 10 games this season on, on the court as a starter compared to zero last year, which is a pretty big stat difference. Is there a reason why, I guess, you've had such like a breakout season this year? Um, I think because of the injuries, but um, Chris gives me a role to play in the team and he likes me to play some defense on the other guard, so I think he just trusts me with that, so yeah. And I think it's a Flyers Boomer semi-final this year, which is the same as last year, except you're on a different side. I was going to say, and is Townsville and Perth the same as last year as well? I think so. I yeah, think it's the exact funny. same final series. Um, very unusual that I'm on the other side this time because last year we just beat the Boomers so I was like yeah that was a great feeling and now I'm like wait a minute I want that feeling but opposite so um, yeah it's going to be very 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 different especially playing against my old team and you know I have a lot of good friends in that team as well but you know it's time to whip out the elbows yeah. and yeah give it back to them. Bit of revenge. Yeah exactly right. Congratulations on your um, award ready tonight. I wanted to ask you were the breakout player last year and you went to the, from the sixth player to the being in the um, all WNBL first team and now you're going to the Olympics, or, which is pretty crazy. How do you keep like resetting your goals every year and just getting better? Um, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I think a lot of things have happened very fast for me. Um, I'm just trying to take everything in my stride. Um, I feel really grateful that all of these things have happened. Um, 
But yeah, I think there's just mini goals and behind the big goals, like wanting to get to the Olympics and being an Opal, like there's lots of little steps in behind that. And yeah, and I remember presenting an award to you last year. You're one year older this year. What do you think is the biggest difference, I guess, just in this year to last year? Um, I'd like to think I have matured a little bit. I think just playing one year in the, the league, I think just little things like getting my body ready um, and learning how to be a professional, I think that's the biggest takeaway. Like I was injured at the end of last season, so I've finally been able to get through a full season on skates. So I think that's probably the main thing, that just the professionalism off court. And I don't think I've spoken to you since you went over to Brazil to play for the Opals. I've got to ask, what was the feeling like when you hit that three in the corner? Um, yeah, I couldn't believe it. I think I've dreamed about so many opportunities that potentially could have happened with the Opals and the fact that first touch, first score, I think that was just amazing and it just happened so fast. Um, but yeah, just super, super grateful for that opportunity. I'm so excited to see you over there. Thanks so much. I can't believe you've already won two awards and the night isn't even over yet. I know, no. Nah. <laughs> I don't think I'm any chance for the MVP. I guess we'll see. Never. We'll see. I mean, you said before that you thought that the fan MVP would go to LJ. Like, how are you feeling now? No, I guess. Yeah, like, I mean, honor. yeah, it's an honour, um, you know, to be recognised by the fans who ultimately are the ones growing the game. Um, yeah, huge honour to be recognised by them. Um, but yeah, I, I give a huge amount of credit to my teammates, you know. I play a pretty loose style of basketball and if they're not on board then it doesn't work. So huge credit to them for putting me in positions this year, believing in me. Um, and yeah, very very thankful for the fans for voting for me. Yeah, definitely. Um, and you're in the WNBL first team this year after being in the second team last year. Do you think there have been any major like changes in your game since last night? Yeah, I think for me, um, I think I've just grown in confidence. I knew this year we were going to be young again, um, and I've learned a lot of stuff over in the WNBA, so I think it was in, important for me to bring that kind of confidence and knowledge back to this group um, and try and, you know, use all the experience I have in my four years to try and lead this team. So they were probably the major changes. Um, and then, yeah, there was a bit more emphasis on scoring for me. Um, tried to develop my three-point jump shot, so they'd be the major changes. Um, but yeah, very, very, feeling very honoured right now. And I guess just speaking about the WNBA, what does this year just look like for you? I guess it's pretty big with the Olympics, your second WNBA season. Yeah, so I'll head back over to Seattle around mid-April. Uh, yeah, looking forward to another season. We've recruited some pretty good players this season. So it's going to be exciting to learn off Necca and Skylar. And then obviously Jewel and Ezzy are still there and Sammy, some of my faves. So um, yeah, it's going to be a fun year. And then hopefully I can be on that plane that goes to Paris. Um, yeah, because we've spoken about it before, I think, my ultimate goal has been to play um, for Australia at the Olympics. So if I can be on that plane come July to the Olympics, I'll be very happy. Thanks so much, Jado Potatoes. Uh, good no luck. <laughs> League MVP this year. Congratulations, Jordan. What was it that made you want to come over playing the WNBL in the first place? Sorry, say that one more time. What was it that made you want to just come over and play in this league? Yeah, I've heard great things about this league, of how competitive it was and, you know, um, how, you know, people that come here, they just get better. And so that was kind of one of my main focuses is to come here and just to compete, play hard and, you know, have fun as well. And I've heard great things about this league. So I just wanted to see what it was like. And it's been nothing short of amazing. And you have come off a pretty solid WNBA season as well. Are you feeling like you're just at your peak right now? I'm sorry. I'm are you, sorry. Are you, no, it's all right. Are you feeling like you're at your peak right now, just playing your best? Um, I feel like I'm still getting to my peak. I think my trajectory is on this way to my peak. Um, this is just the beginning for me, so I just want to continue going with what I have. And are there many like differences you've noticed in um, the WNBL compared to the WNBA? I guess not just in the actual league, but like the fans, the environment? The fan environment is amazing. Um, I know our fans uh, are nothing short of amazing. They're phenomenal. They show up game in and game out, game out regardless of our ups and downs throughout the season. They have been always cheering us on, and the energy they give us, you know, it helps us win. And so I'm looking forward to the playoffs and them being there to support us. I just wanted to ask a bit about that period when you were kind of concussed and you weren't able to play for a bit. Like, how did you get through that time, I guess, just when the Boomers went winning a whole lot of games? Uh, a lot of rest, um, just making sure I'm recovering as, as much as I can, you know, to get back on the court and doing what I need to do and also, you know, cheering my teammates on while I was out um, and just trying to be there for them as much as I could. And the Boomers have made playoffs after being in a bit of a waiting season, I guess. How are the girls looking? I mean, they're playing the Flyers who beat them last year, so they'll be out for revenge, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, I think it's really great when you have two rival teams in the playoffs playing against each other in the semis. Like I said, I think it's going to be a great atmosphere for everybody, for the teams, for the fans, and just overall for the league. I think it's going to be really great, so I'm looking forward to it. And just last about the WNBA, you've gone from LA to Atlanta. What are you most looking forward to? And did you find out in the middle of the night that you were moving? Um, so yeah, I found out that I was, well, you know, I knew that Atlanta was one of the choices that I, you know, would be the teams that I would be going to. 
And Nas, my teammate, you know, she's been really like advocating for me to go to Atlanta. And I think it's a great opportunity for me to start fresh and start over and, you know, become one of the leaders on that team and just start fresh. And I think I'm really excited to go there for, for training camp and to see what the season brings. Congrats again, Jordan. Thanks. Excited to see you there.